In phonetics and phonology, gemination, or consonant lengthening, is an articulation of a consonant for a longer period of time than that of a single instance of the same type of consonant. It is distinct from stress and may appear independently of it. Gemination literally means twinning and comes from the same Latin root as Gemini. Consonant length is distinctive in some languages, like Arabic, Berber, Maltese, Catalan, Danish, Estonian, Finnish, Classical Hebrew, Hungarian, Italian, Japanese, Latin, Malayalam, Marathi, Tamil and Telugu. Most languages including English, do not have distinctive long consonants, however, vowel length is distinctive in more languages than consonant length is. Several languages, like Arabic, Japanese, Finnish and Estonian, feature both independently, however, others, like Italian, Norwegian and Swedish, have interdependent vowel and consonant length. Phonetics <laughs> 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 Lengthened fricatives, nasals, laterals, approximants and trills are simply prolonged. In lengthened stops, the obstruction of the airway is prolonged, which delays release, and the hold is lengthened. Long consonants are usually pronounced one and a half to two times as long as short consonants, depending on the language. <laughs> Phonology Gemination of consonants is distinctive in some languages and then is subject to various phonological constraints that depend on the language. In some languages, like Italian, Swedish, Faroese, Icelandic, many Finnish dialects and Luganda, consonant length and vowel length depend on each other. A short vowel within a stressed syllable almost always precedes a long consonant or a consonant cluster, and a long vowel must be followed by a short consonant. In classical Arabic, a long vowel was lengthened even more before permanently geminate consonants, but that no longer occurs in modern varieties of Arabic or even modern Standard Arabic. In other languages, such as Finnish, consonant length and vowel length are independent of each other. In Finnish, both are phonemic: taka, taka, back; taka, taka, fireplace; and taka, takea, burden, are different, unrelated words. Finnish consonant length is also affected by consonant gradation. Another important phenomenon is sandy, which produces long consonants to word boundaries from an archiphonemic glottal stop, ota say, greater than otas say, take it. Also, in some Finnish compound words, if the initial word ends in an e, the initial consonant of the following word is geminated, jaitsaki, trash bag, jaitsaki, tervetsaloa, welcome, turet uloa. In certain cases, a v after a u is geminated by most people. Ruvi, screw, ru i vova, baby, ow a. Uh. In the Tampere dialect, if a word receives gemination of v after u, the u is often deleted. Ruvi, ru i vova, a uh, a. Uh, and lauantai, Saturday, receive a medial v lauantai, and so a further deletion of u may occur. La anti. Distinctive consonant length is usually restricted to certain consonants. There are very few languages that have initial consonant length, among them are Patani Malay, Chukis, Moroccan Arabic, a few Romance languages such as Sicilian and Neapolitan as well as many High Alemannic German dialects, such as that of Thurgovia. Some African languages, such as Setswana and Luganda, also have initial consonant length, it is very common in Luganda and indicates certain grammatical features. In colloquial Finnish and spoken Italian, long consonants are produced between words because of sandy. The reverse of gemination reduces a long consonant to a short one, which is called degemination. It is a pattern in Baltic Finnic consonant gradation that the strong grade often the nominative form of the word is degeminated into a weak grade often all the other cases form of the word, taka greater than takan burden, of the burden. As an historical restructuring at the phonemic level, word internal long consonants degeminated in Western Romance languages, e.g. Spanish, boca, mouth versus Italian, baka, the latter of which continues Latin geminate, kk. Examples Arabic Arabic marks gemination with a diacritic haraka shaped like a rounded w, called the shada. It is written above the consonant that is to be doubled. 
It is sometimes used to avoid ambiguity in text that otherwise lacks diacritics, and is the diacritic most commonly used in this way. For example, a shada can distinguish mdiarst mudarisa (female teacher) from mdiarst madrasa (school) with full diacritics mudarizat and madrasat. Topic <laughs> Berber. In Berber, each consonant has a geminate counterpart, and gemination is lexically contrastive. The distinction between single and geminate consonants is attested in medial position as well as in absolute initial and final positions. Ini, say. Ini, those in question. A call, earth, soil. Akal, loss. Imi, mouth. Imi, mother. Ifis, hyena. Ifiss, he was quiet. Tamda, pond, lake, oasis. Tameda, brown buzzard, hawk. In addition to lexical geminates, Berber also has phonologically derived and morphologically derived geminates. Phonologically derived geminates can surface by concatenation, e.g., fas sin, give him two, or by complete assimilation, e.g., per radian equals k i shli, r a k k isli, he will touch you. The morphological alternations include imperfective gemination, with some Berber verbs forming their imperfective stem by geminating one consonant in their perfective stem, e.g., f t u go, p f f t t u go. IMPF, as well as quantity alternations between singular and plural forms, e.g., AFUS, hand, IFASSN, hands. Topic: <laughs> Catalan. In Catalan, geminates are expressed in writing with consonant repetition, such as innecessary, unnecessary, which is pronounced in SI in careful speech. Gemination is not represented if it is purely phonetic, such as the assimilation occurring in tot bay, tot b, tobb, all good. Since the repetition of the letter l generates the digraph ll, which represents the phoneme, the geminate ll is represented as two ls separated by a punt volat or center dot ll. Call leggy school. Varicella chickenpox. Mil lanari millinery. Topic: Danish. Danish has a three-way consonant length distinction. For instance, bund b n bottoms, bund ni b n n bound place, bundin b n n n the bottoms. The word bundin can phonemically be analyzed as bin, with the middle schwa being assimilated to n. Topic: English. In English phonology, consonant length is not distinctive within root words. For instance, baggage is pronounced not asterisk b ash d. However, phonetic gemination does occur marginally. Gemination is found across words and across morphemes when the last consonant in a given word and the first consonant in the following word are the same fricative, nasal, or stop. For instance. Com man km main this saddle s settle midday md dot de lamp post lap post cf lamp post compost cattail cat tell compare consonant length in catfish roommate rum dot met subbasement sb besament evenness ivens misspell ms spl Prime Minister Prem Eminster with affricates, however, this does not occur. For instance, orange juice rind, do s. in most instances, the absence of this doubling does not affect the meaning, though it may confuse the listener momentarily. The following minimal pairs represent examples where the doubling does affect the meaning in most accents. Ten nails versus ten ales. This sin versus this in. Five alleys versus five valleys. His own versus his zone. Unnamed n -md versus unnamed n -md. Foreigner f -r -n -r versus forerunner f -r -r -n -r Only in some varieties of general American in some dialects gemination is also found when the suffix li follows a root ending in l or ll, as in 
Soli sol li in some varieties of Welsh English, the process takes place indiscriminately between vowels, e.g. in money but it also applies with graphemic duplication thus, orthographically dictated, e.g. butter bt. T. Topic Estonian Estonian has three phonemic lengths, however, the third length is a suprasegmental feature, which is as much tonal patterning as a length distinction. It is traceable to allophony caused by now deleted suffixes, for example half long lina of the city versus over long lina to the city. Topic Finnish consonant length is phonemic in Finnish, for example, taka, taka transcribed with the length sign or with a doubled sign taka, fireplace, but taka, taka back. Consonant gemination occurs with simple consonants hakaa, hakaa, and between syllables in the pattern consonant vowel sonorant stop stop vowel palka, but not generally in codas or with longer syllables. This occurs in Sami languages, so there is the name of Sami origin juki. Sandi may also produce geminates. Consonant and vowel gemination are both phonemic and occur independently, e.g. Mali, 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 Malinan, Mali, a Karelian surname, paint, model, and secular, respectively. In standard Finnish, consonant gemination of h exists only in interjections, new loan words and in the playful word hihuli, with its origins in the 19th century, and derivatives of that word. In multiple Finnish dialects there are also types of special gemination when in contact with long vowels, southwestern special gemination lengthening of stops plus shortening of long vowel, with the type lepa common gemination all consonants in short, stressed syllables are lengthened, with the type putoa, putu, and its extension which is strongest in the northwestern Savonian dialects, the eastern dialectal special gemination same as the common gradation, but applies also to unstressed syllables and certain clusters, with the types lemia greater than lemi and maxeton, maxeton. French In French, consonant length is usually not distinctive, but in certain exceptional cases it can be, such as the pair courons versus courons Gemination also occurs in case of schwa elision. Ganda Ganda is unusual in that gemination can occur word initially, as well as word medially. For example, k kappa, k appa, kat, a, a j jaja grandfather, and abo, nyabo madam all begin with geminate consonants. There are three consonants that cannot be geminated, j, with and l. Whenever morphological rules would geminate these consonants, j, and, with are prefixed with and l changes to d for example ye je army root greater than g g y e e an army noun yinja g a stone root greater than j jinja i a a stone noun j j is usually spelt g g y wanga wa a nation root greater than g g wanga wa a a nation noun Lagala, laala, medicine, root, greater than dagala, d ala, medicine, noun. Topic: <inaudible> Greek. In ancient Greek, consonant length was distinctive, e.g., melo, mel, I am of interest, versus melo, mel, I am going to. The distinction has been lost in the standard and most other varieties, with the exception of Cypriot where it might carry over from ancient Greek or arise from a number of synchronic and diachronic assimilatory processes, or even spontaneously, some varieties of the southeastern Aegean, and Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi and Urdu Gemination is common in Hindi and Urdu. It is found in words of both Indic and Arabic origin, but not in those of Persian origin. Pata, leaf Abbaa, father Nikal, impersonator Dajjal, anti-Christ Daba, box Muna, young boy, baby Gada, mattress for aspirated consonants, the geminate is formed by combining the corresponding non-aspirated consonant followed by its aspirated counterpart. There are few examples where an aspirated consonant is truly doubled. Pat.thar, stone Cat.thaw, brown spread on pond 
ad, dhaa, slang, short for half a a dhaa. Mock khii, fly. Hungarian In Hungarian, consonant length is phonemic, e.g. megi m, goes, and megi m, sour cherry. Italian In standard Italian, consonant length is distinctive. For example, bev, meaning, he, she drank is phonemically bev and pronounced bev e while beve he she drinks is drinking is beve pronounced beve tonic syllables are bimoric and are therefore composed of either a long vowel in an open syllable as in beve or a short vowel in a closed syllable as in bev in varieties with post vocalic weakening of some consonants e g ra don ra o ne reason geminates are not affected mado mado may Double or long consonants occur not only within words but also at word boundaries, and they are then pronounced but not necessarily written, chi plus sa equals chisa, who knows, kiss sa and vedo akasa, I am going home, va do a k ka sa the latter example refers to central and southern standard Italian. All consonants except, z, can be geminated. This word initial gemination is triggered either lexically by the item preceding the lengthening consonant e.g. by preposition a to, at, in, ak ka sa a casa homeward but not by definite article la in la ka sa la casa the house, or by any word final stressed vowel par el fran t, e z parlo francese s, he spoke French but parlo fran t, e z parlo francese s, he speaks French. <laughs> Japanese equals In Japanese, consonant length is distinctive as is vowel length. Gemination in the syllabary is represented with the sokuan, a small su, su for hiragana in native words and su for katakana in foreign words. For example, lai ta kita kita means came, arrived, while chi tda kita kita means cut, sliced. With the influx of garego foreign words, into modern Japanese, voiced consonants have become able to geminate as well. Bagu bagu means computer bug, and bagu bagu means bag. Distinction between voiceless gemination and voiced gemination is visible in pairs of words such as kiddo kiddo, meaning kit, and kiddo kiddo, meaning kid. In addition, in some variants of colloquial modern Japanese, gemination may be applied to some adjectives and adverbs regardless of voicing in order to add emphasis. Sugoi sugoi, amazing, contrasts with sugoi sugoi, really amazing. Ci chi ri omoikiri omoikiri, with all one's strength, contrasts with si itsu chi ri omoikiri omoikiri, really with all one's strength. Equals Topic Korean equals In Korean, geminates arise from assimilation, and they are distinctive. Equals Topic Latin and Romance languages. Equals In Latin, consonant length was distinctive, as in anus, anus, versus anus. Year. Vowel length was also distinctive in Latin, but is not reflected in the orthography. Geminates inherited from Latin still exist in Italian, in which an o, anno, and a no on yo contrast with regard to n, n, and n, as in Latin. It has been almost completely lost in French and completely in Romanian. In West Iberian languages, former Latin geminate consonants often evolved to new phonemes, including some instances of nasal vowels in Portuguese and Old Galician, as well as most cases of and in Spanish, but phonetic length of both consonants and vowels is no longer distinctive. Equals. Topic Malayalam. Equals. In Malayalam, compounding is phonologically conditioned, so gemination occurs at words' internal boundaries. Consider following example. Mesa plus petty, Mesa plus petty, Masapeti Masapeti. 
Topic: <laughs> Marathi. In Marathi, the compounding occurs quite frequently, as in the words hada (stubbornness), kata (platform), or sada (power). It seems to happen most commonly with the dental and retroflex consonants. Topic: <laughs> Norwegian. Gemination is indicated in writing by double consonants. Gemination often differentiates between otherwise unrelated words. Mate, mat, method, had to, leet, let, search, take off, sign, sine, theirs, anger. Topic: <laughs> Polish. In Polish, consonant length is indicated with two identical letters. Examples: Wana, vana, bathtub. Anna, Anna. Horror, xr, r, horror. Hobby, xb, hobby. Consonant length is distinctive and sometimes is necessary to distinguish words. Rodzini, rd, in, families. Rodzini, rd, in, adjective of, family. Sake, sake, sacks, bags. Saki, s, aki, mammals. Leki, elok, i, medicines. Leki, elok, i, light, lightweight. Double consonants are common on morpheme borders where the initial or final sound of the suffix is the same as the final or initial sound of the stem, depending on the position of the suffix. Examples: Peshedtem, ptm, before, previously, from pesched suffix. Before, plus tem, archaic, that. Adak, diet, give back, from odd suffix, from, plus dak, give. Bajieni, ba g n, swampy, from bano, swamp, plus n y, suffix forming adjectives. Najasnashi, naj i, brightest, from naj, suffix forming superlative, plus jasnashi, brighter. Topic. Punjabi Punjabi in its official script Gurmukhi uses a diacritic called an adic, adhaka dk, which is written above the word and indicates that the following consonant is geminate. Gemination is specially characteristic of Punjabi compared to other Indo Aryan languages like Hindi Urdu, where instead of the presence of consonant lengthening, the preceding vowel tends to be lengthened. Consonant length is distinctive in Punjabi, for example, Dasa d s ten dasa d s tell verb pata p t a aware of something pata p t a leaf seda saint truth liturgical seda saint seven kala claw art kala kala alone topic Russian. In Russian, consonant length indicated with two letters, as in vana van bathtub may occur in several situations. Minimal pairs or chronemes exist, such as poters it pdr at to hold versus potters it pdr at to support, and their conjugations, or delina dl na length versus delina dl na long adj f. Word formation or conjugation, delina dl na length greater than delineage dl inch long. This occurs when two adjacent morphemes have the same consonant and is comparable to the situation of Polish described above. Assimilation. The spelling usually reflects the unassimilated consonants, but they are pronounced as a single long consonant. Visage vj highest. Topic: Sami languages. Most Sami languages contrast three different degrees of consonant length. These often contrast in different forms within a single inflectional paradigm, as in northern Sami Gor Rut let's sew, versus Goru to sew, we sew, versus Gorut U S G sew. Often, progressively longer consonants correspond to a progressively shorter preceding vowel. In Proto-Samic, the common ancestor of the Sami languages, there was already a contrast between single and geminate consonants, inherited from Proto-Uralic. A process called consonant gradation then lengthened all consonants when they stood at the end of a stressed syllable, if the next syllable was open. 
The subsequent loss of final consonants and vowels in the later Sami languages made this process contrastive, resulting in as many as four contrastive lengths lengthened geminate, unlengthened geminate, lengthened single, unlengthened single. The modern Sami languages have reduced this to three, by merging the unlengthened geminates with the lengthened single consonants. Turkish In Turkish, gemination in word stem is exclusive to loanwords. Gemination is indicated by two identical letters as in most languages that have phonemic gemination. Mudaris from Arabic, mostly obsolete, female teacher. Pizza from Italian loanwords originally ending with a geminated consonant are always written and pronounced without the ending gemination. Hak had had from Arabic J had hat hat Islamic calligraphy from Arabic kht xat although gemination is resurrected when the word takes a suffix hak becomes haka hadia to hajj when it takes the suffix a to indicating destination hat becomes hatan hatn of calligraphy when it takes the suffix in of expressing possession gemination also occurs when a suffix starting with a consonant comes after a word that ends with the same consonant l l hand plus lur li s marks plural equals l er e l e hands contrasts with l er s he eliminates at at to throw plus tick tick ed marks past tense first person plural equals attic a t k we threw s m t h contrasts with attic waste equals topic ukrainian equals in ukrainian geminates are found between vowels bagata bt bonfire podruza po drew married couple oblika o belt face geminates also occur at the start of a few words lanij lnj flaxen forms of the verb lati to pour, lu lu, les l, etc., sati st, to suck, and derivatives. Gemination is in some cases semantically crucial, for example, mana means, mana, or, semolina, while mana means, delusion. Wagaman <laughs> 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 In Wagaman, an indigenous Australian language, consonant length in stops is the primary phonetic feature that differentiates fortis and lenus stops. Wagaman does not have phonetic voice. Word initial and word final stops never contrast for length. Writing <laughs> 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 In written language, consonant length is often indicated by writing a consonant twice ss, kk, pp, and so forth, but can also be indicated with a special symbol, such as the shada in Arabic, the dagesh in classical Hebrew, or the sokuan in Japanese. Estonian uses b, d, g for short consonants, and p, t, k and pp, t, t, kk are used for long consonants. In the International Phonetic Alphabet, long consonants are normally written using the triangular colon, e.g. penne, pen e, feathers, pens, also a kind of pasta, though doubled letters are also used especially for underlying phonemic forms, or in tone languages to facilitate diacritic marking. Catalan uses the raised dot called an interpunct to distinguish a geminated L from a palatal LL. Thus, parallel, parallel and lul standard catalan pll u hungarian digraphs and trigraphs are geminated by doubling the first letter only thus the geminate form of szs is sszs rather than asterisk szsz and that of dzsd is ddzsd the only digraph in ganda ny is doubled in the same way nny in Italian, geminated instances of the sound cluster KW represented by the digraph Q are always indicated by writing CQ, except in the words so quadro and B quadro, where the letter Q is doubled. The gemination of sounds and spelled GN, SC, I, and GL, I, respectively, is not indicated because these consonants are always geminated when occurring between vowels. 
Also the sounds ts, dz, both spelled z, are always geminated when occurring between vowels, yet their gemination is sometimes shown, redundantly, by doubling the z as, e.g., in pizza, pizza In Swedish and Norwegian, the general rule is that a geminated consonant is written double, unless succeeded by another consonant. Hence hall, hall, but halt, halt. In Swedish, this does not apply to morphological changes so call cold and kalt coldly, or compounds so tunbrod, flatbread. The exception are some words ending in m, thus hem, home, but hemma, at home, and stam, stem, but lamb, lamb, to distinguish the word from lamb, lame, with a long a, as well as adjectives in nn, so tun, thin, but tunt, thinly. Whilst Norwegian has a rule always prohibiting two m s at the end of a word with the exception being only a handful of proper names, and as a rule forms with suffixes reinsert the second m, and the rule is that these word final m s always cause the preceding vowel sound to be short despite the spelling. Topic: Other representations of double letters. Doubled orthographic consonants do not always indicate a long phonetic consonant. In English, for example, the n sound of running is not lengthened. Consonant digraphs are used in English to indicate the preceding vowel as a short lax vowel, while a single letter often allows a long tense vowel to occur. For example, tapping tep from tap has a short a, a which is distinct from the diphthongal long a e in taping tep from tape. In standard modern Greek, doubled orthographic consonants have no phonetic significance at all. Hangul the Korean alphabet and its romanizations also use double consonants, but to indicate fortis articulation, not gemination. See also Syntactic gemination West Germanic gemination Glottal stop Length phonetics List of phonetic topics